Hello, it's Tuesday, and this is TOEFL Tuesdays. If you've watched some of our other lesson videos, then you've seen a slightly different look when I'm sitting down and I have the purple background behind me. Today, we're going to do something different. Today, we are going to look at a question, a practice question. Specifically, we're going to look at vocabulary questions. I have one vocabulary question behind me on the board here, but first let's talk a little bit about vocab questions on the TOEFL in general. They only appear in the reading section, for one. And in the reading section, they're very common. They are three to six, or rather three to five, uh, on each passage. And of course, there are three or four reading passages on the TOEFL. So you can have up to about 20 vocabulary questions, possibly. Now, what you need to know about these questions is that A, number one, they test academic vocabulary. Words like, um, let's see, we have dominant, incorporate, significant. Significant is an easy one, but that actually was on a real TOEFL. Um, other phrases, we have by virtue of is a good example. Uh, there are idioms occasionally. There was one TOEFL that had the phrase makes it, which is a little bit more idiomatic for meaning uh, to um, succeed or to arrive somewhere. And other more difficult academic words that aren't so common in uh, normal English, like accrete, for example. I mentioned that in a previous TOEFL Tuesday, so if you're watching these, you heard that word recently. Now, let's look at a specific question so we can see the format of those vocab questions, what they look like, and how you answer them. So we have here a paragraph of a much longer text. Actually, this isn't a full paragraph, it's the first half of a paragraph, about cicadas, a type of insect. And this is specifically about the cicadas song. If you want to read this, I would pause the video now, read it, and then we will talk about the specific question. Okay, now this passage gives a little bit of context, a little bit of hints about the meaning of the word, but that is only going to be a very small part of answering TOEFL vocabulary questions. This word here, camouflaged, when you see it in the answer choices, or sorry, in the question, if you know the meaning of this word, if you know camouflaged, you can look very quickly and see what word would go there. Hidden makes sense. Hidden and camouflaged have a similar meaning. Buried is different. Placed is different. Heard is different. So if you know this word, you don't even need this text. For most vocabulary questions, I would say 90% of them, maybe every vocab question on your TOEFL, you don't need the text if you know the word. And that's why studying vocabulary can be so helpful for your test. If you don't know the word, as I said, you can look back in the text, find some clues, find some context. Now, cicadas tend to be very well camouflaged. And, let's continue the sentence, can blend into their surroundings. And this phrase here, blend into, is a huge hint as to the meaning of camouflaged. But it's a phrasal verb, and maybe you don't know this. It actually has almost the same meaning as camouflage. They both mean that you look the same as the things around you. Blend into means it's hard to see it, it's hard to pick out or to distinguish, to see specifically one thing because it looks like the things near it. Camouflage means, well, pretty much the same thing. So if you know this word, or this uh, phrasal verb, this phrase, and you don't know camouflage, you can use this to find the meaning in the answer choices, which is hidden. What else can you do? Well, let's think about the whole idea, not just hints in the uh, one sentence, 
But in this paragraph, we see that the male cicada's song is supposed to attract another cicada. And down here, we see that it gives clues to that cicada. Now, why? Why would the cicada need a song? Why would it need sounds to attract a female? Why would it give clues about finding the male? Well, if you need clues to find something, probably you can't see it, right? And that's why we get, again, hidden. Now, these other ones are very tempting, buried, placed. Uh, Herd is a little less tempting. That's kind of the opposite. Because a buried cicada would be hard to find. It would be hard to see. A well-placed, if we use this word here, a well-placed cicada might also be hard to find, hard to see. And the topo likes to do this. They like to take wrong answers that almost work in the text. They just have a different meaning. That's why vocabulary is so important. But, again, there are some hints that can help you to get to that word. And that's going to be true on most vocabulary questions. But first and foremost, meaning most importantly, it helps if you just know the meaning of the word. Because then you don't need the text. You just look at the word and the answer choices, answer choices, and it's very fast. And that's what we want. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. This is TOEFL Tuesdays. I'm Lucas. I'll see you next week.